Good morning, everybody. Welcome to another Daily Market Report brought to you by Mike Bjork. Today is Tuesday, December 6th. We got just a couple economic news releases scheduled for today. Uh, kind of a somewhat light day today. Um, so what we have is the Q3 uh, productivity, and we also got unit labor class. So we'll start with the productivity for the third quarter. So the initial one came in because we'll get three of these. The final one will come in actually, well, excuse me, this is actually the final one because it's December. Excuse me. Time flies. We had an uh, initial one at 3.1. And the forecast is come, supposed to come in at 3.3, so the final productivity number for Q3 is at uh, 3.1 here. Now, we also got the unit labor cost, which can be, you know, infl uh, basically uh, inflationary numbers because these could be a wage-based inflation. So as you can see here, we had a pretty big increase. The previous one said 0.3%, and uh, basically uh, forecast is 0.8, which came in near expectation at 0.7%. So this is something we need to keep an eye on in case maybe the, the earlier numbers we had earlier didn't show any wage-based inflation, but the unit labor costs coming in uh, shows potential uh, wage-based inflation. So this is something we want to keep an eye on if, um, if this is going to be continuing a uh, trend going forward or not. Also, last but not least, we got the factors for the month of October. So we had a 0.6% increase of fact or new orders coming in for the month of uh, uh, September. And then uh, October, it forecast supposed to go up to 2.8. Again, came in near expectation at 2.7. So a pretty big increase from 0.6 from October, I'm sorry, from August to September to a 2.7% increase uh, from September to October. So pretty big jump there. So that's obviously good news. That's probably why we're seeing some better uh, manufacturing numbers as well. So let's take a look here at the uh, headline news. And right now the stock market's a little mixed based on that data. But also one of the things that's kind of treating is oil prices pulled back a little bit uh, today. They went down about a buck, or t uh, about a buck 50 uh, per barrel, which is now creating a little concern with the investors. So now it closed up at a uh, at an all-time high yesterday, and now they're kind of watching and seeing if you know they want to make sure it's not in an overbought position. We got treasuries that have gone up quite a bit. We've had the stock market go up. Dow is up like five and a half percent since. Uh, in approximately just under a month, if you think about it, five and a half percent jump in approximately a month. That's a pretty fast uh, pace there, and uh, obviously it can't really sustain itself at that pace. So right now, they're t you're going to see probably investors start holding back a little bit and kind of seeing, okay, uh, everything that's being projected, you know, is are they priced right, or are we overbought? overbought or oversold position here. So right now, it's kind of probably in a more of an overbought position. You may see some repositioning in the near term uh, for the stock market. Uh, let's go ahead and look at the bond market. And as you can see, we uh, did close above this floor of support, which uh, which is very helpful. But this 10-day moving average is starting to look a little tough here as well. Uh, as you can see, we bounced out, but we did sell above that. Now we're about three basis points. So we did test it again. We're just below the 10-day moving average. So we're only about three base points from where we left off yesterday, which basically is there's no pricing difference from where we left off yesterday. You know, three base points is really almost nothing. All right, folks, so pricing about on interest rates are about the same. And uh, if you guys want to get more information or more data throughout the day, just stop by Twitter. I'm on Twitter, and I do post uh, as they come up different events that pop up in the market on my Twitter account at Mike Bjork here. So just stop by Twitter at Mike Bjork and uh, you can get my updates there throughout the day as well. All right, have a wonderful day. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Take care. Bye-bye.